So I'm Jesus. You can look in my eyes. And you can see if there's any ounce of deception in there. I either am or I'm not. I'm kind of tired of playing games. Most people that are going to refute what I say or who I claim to be are going to quote verses from a Bible in which they have no idea where those words came from. They didn't look at the paper trail. They think it's divinely inspired. They think that it was written by God, all this good stuff. There's a history there that can easily be studied with information that's available now. Now, black people are ticklish on this because black people think that everything in the Bible is true. I question the intelligence of anyone who thinks everything in the Bible is true or supposed to be true. <laughs> It's allegory, told, stories told to illustrate a point at a time when there were very few people reading books. And most of what you went into the making of the Bible was copied from Egyptian texts. Now, if you want to get so dewy-eyed over the Bible, which is, which is a carbon copy of a carbon copy, why don't you go back and read the original the Egyptian text? You choose to believe what you want to believe. I'm not here to try to convince you of anything. The only thing that I want to do is expose the truth for what it is. Show you the divinity you have within you. Jesus was and is nobody special. If it takes Jesus to tell you that, if it takes Jesus to tell you that the same divinity within him, within me, is within you, then so be it. If you want to dispute that, I suggest you have your facts straight. I suggest you have some experience. I suggest you have some history. If you want to debate the Bible, I'm not going to debate the Bible with you. I didn't write the Bible. Even back then, I said, is it written in your book? So if you're going to show me a book that's supposed to show you the divinity that you have within and you're not accessing it, then you're missing the point. You're caught in the book. You're spellbound. No time for that. The world has no time for that. That's been going on for a couple thousand years, and you see where it's gotten us. It's going to have to change, and it takes bold action, and it takes bold steps. This is what the universe wants me to do. This is what it's led up to. So I've seen things written on church billboards that one man and God is a majority. So let's see. Just like in the Bible where they had the story of you know, challenging these religious people to show who the true God is, we can do that as well. I'm going to have a Q&A session on the 21st of this month. If you're interested in talking and discussing, we can do that. If you want to debate, that's understandable. I understand most people are going to defend their position, their belief system, especially if you've been abiding by that for years. Most of the time, you're just doing what you were taught by people who you thought knew what they were talking about. Some do, some don't. If you question because part of the belief is not to question. So when someone comes questioning authority, yeah, they're going to get ridiculed and all of that stuff. Forget the messenger, look at the message. What am I saying that's false? That's why I put out the 100 degree challenge to kind of logically lay out the possibility of what I'm saying being true. So show me where the errors are in that. If you're just gonna show me some verses in the Bible that was not written by me, that was written by man, and look at the results of this Bible, look at what it's doing for you, you just have fear. The only reason most people are looking at that because they believe they need a, need a savior and um, trying to avoid going to a hell that a God of love made. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. If you want to defend that, then we'll show that. It's, it'll be part of the reality show when the world will see that you're defending a belief system, BS, that makes no sense. And I hate to be rude, and I'm not trying to be rude. I understand people are not going to like me regardless, but um, it's time. And this is part of what we're going into for 2020. So, yeah, you got a black man claiming to be Jesus, awake in the matrix, all of that good stuff. And it's challenging the status quo, boldly and out frontly and openly. If the truth is the truth, it shouldn't fear any questioning, right? So let's put all this in the open. Let's put all the cards on the table. Let's look at the history outside of the Bible as well as what's in the Bible. If you just want to debate the Bible, then you're already at a loss because there's more information outside of the Bible than what's in the Bible. So you're going to need to have a broader wealth of information before you say something is factual or not. Have you looked at all the other alternatives? There's 4,200 religions. Of course you think you got the right one. The other people think they got the right one too.
How many have you researched? What is your experience telling you? And again, it's just based on books. All of those books boil down to older teachings, which boils down to knowing yourself, getting in contact with yourself. This is the enlightenment. This is the awakening that's going on right now. So no more time for games. Um, again, I'm putting all this in the open. Your churches don't put all everything in the open. And we'll get into that later. Not going to cross that bridge yet. There's a time to time for everything. This is part of a timing thing. But I just felt compelled to record this. And I'm putting this out. So let's see where this goes. Uh, I either am who I say I am or I'm or not. Um, yeah, if you want to take the challenge, let's go for it. I'm the one with the reality show showing you that this is the real deal. I can show you the matrix. I'm in the matrix. I'm awake in the matrix. You're talking to an avatar of a spiritual being having a human experience. You are that as well if you're looking at this, unless you're, as they say in Jumanji, a NPC, a non-playable character. Maybe you're just one of the robots in the matrix. I don't know. We'll see. I have a question about that as well. There may, there may be soulless beings in this experience. I can't prove that or not. I know I definitely have a soul, and if you have a soul, then you should want to get in contact with that soul and expand and, and get to the limitless being that you are. If you're one of the ones that want to control us and want to keep us down and suppressed and limited and divided, then this is the time where we're going to do the opposite of that. And if you want to support that paradigm, you're on the wrong side of history. History will show that. Just like the Buddha said, there's three things that can not long be hidden, the sun, the moon, and the truth. Peace.